Get your eyes open. Future eyes open. It almost makes it sound like you know, like it, like it might be in question. <laughs> <laughs> Where just want to say we're going to fourth edition. No. no. Scheduling, I'm only gonna be able to sit in about the first half hour of this because I gotta go set up for the interactive uh, tonight. Anybody in here gonna be playing in that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so hopefully it'll be awesome. Have a good evening, Oscar, if I am able to oh, set it up. So, <laughs> so basically, the future of Pies Open is wow. Uh, it's it's looking bright. Um, obviously, the, the the big things going on for us right now and has been the same big thing that's been going on for a couple of years, which is the Pathfinder role playing game. Uh, how many of you guys participated in the beta play test of the Pathfinder role playing game? Awesome. So uh, we uh, have sent it to the printer. The core rule book is 576 pages long. It's full color interior, um, a bunch of new art, all kinds of new stuff. Mr. Jason Bolden in there leaning up against the open door. Nobody at Pfizer who hasn't worked their ass off on that book. Um, that book uh, is enough to um, make me never want to do another 576. <laughs> 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 but it is awesome, and um, and you will you will soon see that that uh, it has really been worth I think all the, the effort that everybody's put into it. Um, that of course is coming out at Gen Con August 13th. Uh, the first day of Gen Con will have that. Um, and it will also be releasing in stores at the same time. Um, I don't know if it's going to get to the Czech Republic uh, that soon. But, um, but uh, so once that's out, that really becomes the future of Paizo, honestly. I mean, that is our main system. We're transitioning all of our products to be Pathfinder role playing compliant. Uh, it's not terribly different than 3.5, honestly. Uh, you know, it's compatible in that you could pretty easily play a 3.0 or 3.5 adventure using the, the Pathfinder uh, role-playing game rules as the, the backdrop. Um, in, uh, shortly after we publish the core rule book, we'll be releasing the bestiary, which at least in terms of uh, us in the office, that's kind of our present right now. I, I got given a stack of uh, editing we looked at about this big yesterday. I'm like, oh, it's just time for Pisacon. Yeah, right. uh, so, um, so that is 320 pages long. It's got it's more than 300 monsters in it. Um, our art director, Sarah Robinson, has really gone beyond the pale to make what I think is one of the best looking monster books I've ever seen. Um, the whole staff has been contributing monsters and, and, and you know coming up with ideas. Jason really uh, re imagined kind of a lot of the, the way that the monster powers are presented and things like that and standardized some stuff. Um, I think people are going to flip out when they see that. I'm, I flipped out when I, when I first got the, the, the pile of stuff on my desk. Um, we will be announcing some, some other products uh, uh, at the banquet tomorrow night um, in terms of new stuff in the Pathfinder RPG line. Uh, but the plan going forward is to publish you know, three or four Pathfinder role-playing game hardcover books a year, in addition to the Pathfinder Adventure Path, in addition to Pathfinder Chronicles, in addition to Pathfinder Modules, in addition to Pathfinder Companions, um, um, Co Companions, yeah, um, yeah, um, so um, basically. <laughs> the, the, the RPG. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, the RPG, you guys feel our The RPG is, is our main line. Um, a couple other things. We're working really hard to get um, the Kill Dr. Lucky, the our board game that, that we put out a couple of years ago that's been sold out for a long time. That's going to be making a, a triumphant reappearance um, for Christmas. Right. For Christmas. Ooh, yeah. Uh, and um, we, you know, one of the things that keeps coming up again and again and again that we're we're like so close to, to, to pulling the trigger on. We've all but done so is, is um, Pathfinder fiction. A lot of people have been asking about that. Uh, we're in the, the kind of mid to late planning stages on that. Not ready to announce a date yet, but that's definitely, the gears are moving there and they're, they're going to be picking up speed rapidly um, after this. Uh, PaizoCon. Uh, wow, I'm already impressed by this year's Pizzle Con, <laughs> so I'm guessing we'll probably do that next year as well. Next year, well, they might be giants. You know. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> um, so, you know, basically, uh, 
I would say the future of Paizo is kind of what we're doing now, but more and even you know even better. Um, the the RPG kind of becomes the spine of our whole publishing operation. Obviously, Pathfinder Adventure Path is you know our longest running and in many ways kind of the anchor product for for our you know Pathfinder line. But you know the RPG, it's going to be really interesting to see how that does and. Um, we're going to be gauging that pretty carefully and, and taking a look at, at how that um, hopefully explodes with excitement and, uh, and, and uh, the high sales. And uh, um, There's all kinds of preview events here uh, at the show. I hope that you guys get a chance to, to sit around some of them and check them out. Um, what else, Lisa? Um, we did, we've been trying to get some uh, localization, licensed, uh, licensing Pathfinder stuff to foreign languages. Uh, the, the Germans plan to release Pathfinder pretty much on our release day, right? Is that yeah, the, Ger on? the Germans are <laughs> shooting for an August release for the Pathfinder Cold War book. Yeah, it's Ulysses, Ulysses Field. And then we just found out a couple of days ago that uh, the, the French Black Book editions actually uh, are on track to, for maybe late August with the French edition. Of, uh, Pathfinder role-playing game, which is really cool. They just actually, they just uh, did uh, Classic Monsters Revisited in French, so you can't get it in English, you might, and you know some French, you might be able to that one. <laughs> <laughs> They say it's one of their best-selling products they've ever had in France, so um, it's selling really, really well from their all excited That's yeah, one of the best-selling products we've ever had. Yeah, it's true. It's just kind of funny. Um, well, so what do you guys want to know about the future of Paizo? Yeah, that's a that's a good one. That's a fast one. What would you like? What would you, what do you what would you like to see in the future of Puzzle? Flying yeah. cars. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Right. right on. All right. Are, are you hiring? <laughs> <laughs> we actually just hired you know, we just hired Ross Byers from the you know, the masses of the unwashed on the message boards. <laughs> 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 and uh, Rod, we we've been Gary Teeter, our uh, programmer, is. Uh, has been working his ass off for the last uh, four or five years by himself, um, um, working on the website. And he, a couple of years ago, he asked me for, you know, if I could give him some help, and we put an ad up. And two years it took us to, to you know, find someone that, that could actually uh, that would actually work. And Ross, thankfully, is, is a Paizo fan, uh, plays our games and stuff, and uh, he. Uh, Joined us a, a few weeks ago, and so that's going to be a big, a big thing because it frees Gary up to focus on things that we've all been looking forward to, like the adding non-subscription items to your subscription shipments, which I have been told might happen next week. So, yeah, wish lists, which we've been wishing we had extra time to finish. Um, he actually is. Gary has worked on those for a, 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 a while. And they have been really close. And I think part of the problem is is that he works on it, gets really close to being done, and then he has to do some other stuff. And then we change something to the web infrastructure of the website. And then what he did on the wish list is also further away from being done. But uh, I think that one's fairly close to it. Vic, Vic Wirtz, by the way, is my, my partner in, uh, in, 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 in Paizo. We started Paizo together uh, back in 2002. And, uh, and he also runs, he's our technical director, which you've probably seen on the um, boards. And he uh, um, runs, you know, basically all the technical side of, of Paizo, in um, addition to being my uh, sounding board, my conscience, uh, <laughs> sometimes my, my dad. Um, sometimes he yells at me do things wrong. Crazy um, when I do things right. But he basically is kind of my better half. And, um, Anyway, I got off track. Yeah, really anyway, Gary's, got, Gary's working on a bunch of stuff. Um, but to answer your question, no, we're not really. Right now, there's nothing. We're, we're focused on. on. We're moving our office. That's a big thing that's yeah. happening. Yeah. I just got the sign lease. Yeah. So uh, we'll, we'll be moving into you know just locally.